Chloe! Chloe, wake up! Chloe! She's still asleep? Chloe! Chloe! <laughs> what? Up. What? It's your first day of school. Oh, I almost forgot! I gotta get ready! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You slept through your alarm, but breakfast is almost done, so go get ready for the day and hurry. I've gotta leave for work soon. Alright. Alright, honey, you've got your breakfast, and... Oh, I need to be leaving for work. I hope you have a really good first day at school, and just remember, as soon as school ends, come home, okay? Don't go anywhere else. Alright. Uh, Grandpa will be back from work probably around 8. He has to work late today, okay? Alright. See ya. See ya. <laughs> I need to go to school or I'll be late. <clears throat> Let me just stick this in the trash. All right, so I am locker one oh seven three four six five. So seven should be right down. Locker one oh seven. Excuse oh, me. Hi. I'm Chloe. Um, I. Well, nice to meet you. So, what's your name? Lyric. Oh, that's a really pretty name. Thanks. Um, I need to go speak with the music teacher before class starts, so, uh, sorry. Nice to meet you, Chloe. Oh. Uh, see you around. Okay, see ya. I hope you will enjoy your first day in your first class here at Highland High School. Uh, just due to the amount of stuff that we have to cram into your guys' brain this year, we have to hurry and starve the lesson. I know it's kind of abrupt, but that's what I was told. But today we'll be discussing one of my absolute favorite things, cells. And based on the information on the whiteboard behind me, can anyone, I don't know, maybe even all of you, tell me what the mitochondria is? You, Miss, uh, let me check the scene. Miss Brown, what is the mitochondria? The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Thank you, high schoolers. I hope you will see from example of Miss Brown here that when I ask a question, you are to answer it, not to just sit there in silence. Is that understood? Yes, Miss Green. Thank you. <laughs> so, to further discuss the fascinating topic of cells, I will continue talking about my the differences between animal and plant cells, and other various fascinating topics that I'm sure you will find very interesting, because I know that I did at your age, so I think you should too. Grandma. Uh, let's see. Where to Oh, there's Chloe. Oh, uh, hey Chloe, can I sit here? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm kind of glad we've gotten through, like, the more difficult subjects for the morning, because I am excited about the last two of today. How about you? 
Yeah, I just love theater. It has to be, like, my favorite subject ever. I like theater, too. It's, it is really fun. Back in middle school, though, I would help out with a lot of plays, but I would do, like, if they wanted it, do some, like, the live soundtracks for it and stuff, because um, I play piano. But I do have to say music is, music, yeah, is probably my favorite subject. But when you come from a family of musicians, that's expected of you. <laughs> but. Oh, you know, I should probably hit the bathroom, actually, and I'm not even really hungry anyway, so, um, I will be back. All right. Today's lunch is really good. I'm late, I'm late, I'm always late. How do I, how do I do this every time? Ooh, I don't want lunch. Pretzels. Ooh. Uh, where do I sit? Uh, hey, could I sit here? Yeah, that's fine. My friend Lyric will be back in a minute, but, yeah. Alright. Mm. Pretzels so good. Do you like pretzels? I mean... They're okay. I don't love pretzels, but... Well, you should. I mean, personally, I've had these things for lunch, supper, <coughs> breakfast, snacks, you name it. I've had a pretzel for That's it. That's a lot of pretzels. Probably. They're good. They're like one of my favorite foods. Well, okay, fine. It's tied with lettuce and cheese, but it's still really good, okay? Um, do you know... What class is next? <clears throat> theater? And theater just so happens to be the best class there is. I mean, come on. It's amazing. Like, whatever your name is, it is the greatest Chloe? thing there is. Uh, oh, um, well, I'm Kelsey. Kelsey Sharp. And, I mean, I kind of love drama. Like, it's my favorite class by far. And, in fact, I think it's so great. Honestly, I don't see why schools don't just do drama. Like, it's, it is that amazing. Don't you agree? I mean, I like drama, but uh, not that much. <laughs> well, I think you should. I mean, do you know what my favorite animal is? <clears throat> I don't know how you would know, but do you? No. Llamas. You want to know why? Why? Because a llama rhymes with drama. And, I mean, llamas are drama, and dramas are llama? Yeah. Llama, drama, drama, llama. You know, my mom's sister has a llama. That thing is crazy. It causes a lot of drama. It's crazy. <clears throat> I heard we're doing a play this year, too. Which I thought was pretty cool. Are you gonna do the play? Maybe if I get a part. I don't know if we're doing tryouts. Probably. Hmm. I don't know. Lyric should be getting back by now. Probably, yeah. She's been gone a while. <clears throat> uh, yeah, she probably has. I mean, I don't exactly know that, but... Ah! Hey guys, hey guys, hi! Um, sorry I'm late. Miss Melody caught me in the hallway and would not let me leave. But, uh, oh, uh, I? Oh, Lyric, this is Kelsey. Um, it's, it's Kelsey Sharp. Mm, not just Kelsey, I mean, come on. Now.
And, well, Lyric, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Because I have heard, from good authority, I'm sure, that you are quite an amazing piano player. I mean, that's what everyone tells me, at least. Very nice, very nice. Oh, uh, drama class is about to start in, like, five minutes. We may want to get going. Oh, I should probably get down there so I'm not late. See you guys. Yeah. We should probably all leave, let's be honest. Hello, beautiful people. This year's play is going to be absolutely amazing. You know why? Because I, Kelsey Sharp, am going to be playing the lead role of Miss Amy Underbridge. You're welcome, guys. Um, excuse me, Miss Sharp. If you would be so kind as to leave the stage, while beginning a performance, we never assign our own roles. Ugh, but you always give me the lead role anyway. At least in middle school you did. Well, that was back in middle school. We will settle this the old-fashioned way, like we did in middle school, with tryouts. But I hate tryouts. I mean, even though it's the part I want. Please go take your seat, Miss Sharp. Fine. Alright, class. So today... We will be practicing our acting. Miss Sharp, will you please come start for us? Yes, I certainly will. Alright, so you will be acting out water. W water? What? Action I on set! Uh, um... Um, uh, ah, I think I know what we might be doing for this. Any guesses, anyone? Um, Chloe, do you have a guess of what I might be trying to act out? Um, you're crying? It, I mean, yeah, but like... Uh, oh, I think I know what could help you guys. What is that? A tree? N no, not that. The, the stuff under it. Like. Oh, I know. The bushes. No, that. The platform? Not the platform. It's, it's the blue stuff. Oh, I know. Crying a river of tears. No. Okay. Let me help you guys. What's in a river? Water? Yeah. Water. I was acting out water. So, based on your act, I will tell you your grade at the end of the class, Miss Sharp. Please go mm -hmm. take your seat now. Okay. Well, I do feel quite sorry for Kelsey. Mrs. Ferguson is uh, going to have quite... Why the talk with her? I mean, I can't believe she, like Kelsey got a D minus in acting. Like that's that's crazy. Yeah, I do feel bad for her, but I am excited for music class. And by the way, last one there's a rotten egg.
What? No fair! You didn't even tell me we were doing this. <laughs> Hello, students. I am Miss Melody, your music teacher for the year. Uh, just a few things about me. I love music. And I play the violin, I'm a conductor, and I am very excited to be teaching you guys this year. Oh, I do want to throw one thing out there. We are going to be having a school band, but tryouts for that aren't going to be for about another month or two, just so you guys can get your schedule figured out before you throw band in there. So, uh, if you're interested in that, make sure you're practicing up. Speaking of which, I had the idea the other night that since we have a rather small class this year, we could probably pick one or two students to come up per day and perform a little bit, just play a little whatever, whatever instrument they play, or sing if none of you play an instrument, just to kind of show off your musical talent. So, uh, sorry to throw these kids under the bus, but uh, Chloe and Kelsey, would you be interested in starting that for today? In fact, uh, Chloe, you can come up first. All right. Well, she plays the guitar. Very nice. Just can play a little bit of it for us. I have to grab my guitar off the back. All right. And that is my guitar! Very nice. Thank you, Chloe. Uh, next, Kelsey, uh, way back there on the drums, would you please play a little bit for us? Uh, sure, I would. Uh, thank you, Kelsey. Very nice. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, thank you, Kelsey and Chloe, for uh, showing off your musical talent. That was very nice. You two are very good. I'd suggest uh, firing out with the band, if I don't say so myself. Anyway, uh, to actually teach you guys something today. I will be discussing chords and just their sort of universality. Like, you'll find them everywhere in almost any instrument. So, um, yeah, so there's many different kinds of chords and all just all kinds of different types. They're really quite fascinating, actually. So that's all the classes for today. Yeah, feels like there should be more, honestly. I know. I'm going to go wash my hands in the bathroom. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow, Chloe. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, Lyric. Alright, so I should probably flip the light off just because no one else is really here anymore, so no point to leave the light on. Oh, hi! Hi. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'll let you do your job now. Gee, thanks, didn't know I need your permission.
Wow, today was really fun for my first day of school. I'm really excited to get to know Chloe better, and honestly, I think I'm gonna like it here. But still have to wait till tomorrow, so no, oh, about at my house. Well, bye, school. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Edit clip. Edit clip cut thingy. <laughs> Scene three, cut to class. Hello, class. <laughs> Why did I jump across the table? <laughs> Blooper number one. Um, hello, class. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to further uh, discuss the fascinating topic of cells, we will begin talking about various other parts of it and the differences between human and plant cells and animal <laughs> cells and stuff. <laughs> so fast. That was really bad. I got off script. Um, <laughs> that was my fault too, bro. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I said human cells, and I was like, "Wait a second, is it plant animal cells?" Like, oh shoot. <laughs> Blooper number blooper three. For sure. We're in scene two and have three bloopers. It is. My name's Chloe, by the way. Oh, uh, I'm Kelsey. Kelsey Sharp. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> theater is only the most hold up, amazing. Hold up, hold up, audio clip, audio clip. That never happened. Oh, I need to move your tray. There we go. All right. Starting lunch. <laughs> I am. How did I get a fire extinguisher? You need to switch out of Kelsey too. Ah, <laughs> this is Awful. such a struggle. <laughs> that was the wrong skin. Um. Anyway. All right. Three, two, one. Finally, lunch time, and <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Island Mark, you're gonna kill me. It just started bugging out. <laughs>